Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 21st of June 2021 and we have a number of very interesting news. The first one is a um, very 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 old whiskey and in fact it is so old that it is a new world record for the oldest matured single malt scotch whiskey. It is a 80 year old Glen Livet and it comes from the year 1940. Yes, it's a 1940 Glenlivet bottled by Gordon and MacPhails. It is coming out in the generations range. It has 44.9% ABV and it is limited to 250 bottles and it will be very, very, very expensive. Then we have Torbeg. Torbeg is that small distillery on the Isle of Skye that is quite new and they are bringing out in their second bottling, the second edition of the Legacy series. And they will want to build, bring out more Legacy series, four batches until the end of 2022. Then we have a new Glen Livet coming out. It's the Caribbean Reserve. And uh, a part of the malt was uh, finished in rum cask from the Caribbeans with 40% ABV. Then we have a new distillery uh, that just has started construction, the Moffat Distillery. And it's a lowland distillery that will um, start producing at the beginning of the next year. The first whiskey, however, should come out in seven years as they want to mature it a little bit longer. Also very special is they want to fire their pot stills directly with wood, something new or something very old that is being recently introduced now, reintroduced. Then we have the Lindoris Abbey. They're bringing out their first single mold to the market. Their first release was 46% ABV. It was matured in a combination of bourbon casks, barrique casks, wine casks, and sherry butts. And it will come out at the beginning of July. Then we have the Scottish producer Art Goban and they are, have raised 8.4 million Great British Pounds for a new distillery. And they are building the distillery and they are build, building it with two uh, pot stills and six wash bags. They are also planning a second phase where they are doubling the capacity. As they just raised the finances, they still have a little bit of a longer project plan. They want to start um, in 2023. Then we have news from Macallan, and the concept number three is coming. Unfortunately, they are a little bit of clouded and mystery. So we don't really know anything except it's coming soon. Yeah. Then we have news from Diageo. I've told you that they had a very big investment uh, of 185 million Great British Pounds in all their distilleries and all their visitor centers. And now the visitor center from Cardew is opening. Next up is Ireland. A waterford, this yeah, very progressive, very uh, environmentally friendly distillery bringing out uh, their first biodynamic Irish whiskey. It's called Biodynamic Luna 1.1 and it's made from biodynamic barley and the biodynamic is a bit more than the organic or the bio um, bio stuff and it's um, yeah it's uh, tied to the, the moon and also you're not allowed to use machines, but only plow with horses. So it's a very, yeah, very, very rooted, environmentally friendly um, our way of growing stuff. Then we have Borco. They are yeah, increasing their whiskey portfolio. It's a, a trader, a, a big uh, wholesale trader, and they're bringing out the Busker. The Busker is coming from the Royal Oak Distillery. It's a triple cask smooth Irish whiskey, they call it, with 40% ABV. 
and it has a very high percentage of single malt and single pot still whiskey uh, matured in bourbon casks, masala casks and sherry casks. And then we move over to the United States. Good news from Heaven Hill. They're opening their new bourbon experience 19 million us dollars they invested and now they have a new bourbon experience a visitor center with a distillery theater um, a new tasting room and you do bourbon laboratory mm, you do bourbon that really sounds like hands-on like everybody can try it then we have from the international news we have a new whiskey a horse with no name or horse with no name. It's a bourbon from Texas and it's finished with habanero destillate made in Schwarzwald. I, it really sounds really strange. Uh, the bourbon is made from uh, corn, um, winter wheat and uh, distillers malt as well as a yeast from ecological grown pica nuts so really something very individualistic very different to what we have but as it has the right ingredients you can call it bourbon it was matured for at least three years in charred oak barrels as a boy bourbon is supposed to be 45 percent abv and hopefully we will find it here on our cast to try it yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.